Well, guys, there's drama as always in the VPR universe. Jax Taylor, who is now on the Valley, recently just checked himself into a mental health facility to get help that he needs. Which, here's the post that he put out saying, Working on getting better for you and myself, buddy. I love you. Of course, with his son in the photo. I'm glad that he's getting help. And so were a couple other people. One person, of course, had to make it about themselves, Rachel. She put up an IG post that says, To Jax, I'm deeply saddened to hear of Jax's mental health struggles, and I wholeheartedly support his decision to seek treatment. I pray that his news is met with open-mindedness that mine lacked, as I faced mockery and accusations of simply being in a spa. I hope he finds the healing that I did through my own journey. This situation highlights the urgent need for mental health care and accessibility treatment for reality TV stars. Somehow she always manages to make it about herself when she missed the whole point of why she put herself in a mental health facility to begin with. You had an affair with someone's boyfriend for seven months behind your friend's back. And I'm not trying to mock her or anything because I'm glad that she's gotten the help that she needs. But when it comes to other people now saying that they need help, of course she has to throw herself into the mix. Well, apparently I'm not the only one giving her backlash. A lot of people have, including Scum Devil's new girlfriend, Victoria, which she did leave a comment saying, Girl leaves VPR, ruins people's lives. But then lives and breathes VPR after, still continues to try and ruin people's lives. If you were genuine, you would reach out on a personal level, but instead you post it for attention and relevance. Also, it's so obvious you had your publicist reach out to TMZ for a pity party and attention. Gross. And I hate to break it to everybody, I agree with Victoria. That is exactly what I feel like Rachel did, and Victoria nailed that one on the head. There was also a few other comments that I agreed with, like Lynn's dog, which said, Not your place to announce his mental issues with strangers on social media. You announce your issues on your podcast and bring on healers and doctors. That's your decision. Leave it at that. Now, these three say the same thing, that she managed to make it about herself, which she did. And lastly, from Jessica Miller, she says, Wow, it takes a special kind of person to go through what you've been through and still have the audacity to think of yourself. This is low and dirty. We see right through you, girl. We always have and we always will. We would wish you well regardless, but you'll sabotage that as well. Praying you find a heart and the courage to use it with the platform you possess. And I couldn't agree more. So far, that is what's been going down. Let me know what you guys think down below. This was just a quick recaps with Sunshinery about what's been happening with the little bit of drama that VPR always has. Oh, and what do you guys think about Victoria's comment? Was she right on like I said? Let me know down below. Okay, first of all, it's not about you, okay? It's not about you. This is one time when you don't need to make it about you. But I mean, are we really that surprised? A all new episode of Rachel Goes Rogue dropping in three, two, one. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.